Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be taking a brief look at Mara Culture Pearl Automation. Uh, automating the pearl oysters to get pearls. Uh, it is very simple. As you can see, it's quite effective. Um, the very basic setup I would recommend is something like this. Uh, if you just, if you're not in like super need of pearls, you can, you know, just do something like this. Uh, the top chest, it can be any chest. I just used a diamond chest for whatever. <laughs> uh, so you put a chest here. You put the hopper facing into the pearl or into the oyster. Uh, the way you're going to have to do it is if we set one up here, uh, the way I, oh, the way I did it is I put the chest and then I put the hopper. And then you just put some random block, whatever it is, you know, it doesn't have to be anything specific. And then you put that hopper like that, put that chest on top, and then use your block of choice just to surround that. And you don't actually need these bottom ones, um, but what you do need is you need a, some, you need water above it. Uh, it doesn't have to be a water source, it can be running water. But you put water there, and then you grab your pearl oyster, and you stick it right there. And you're good to go. Just throw some sand in the top chest, and it'll filter down and give you pearls. As you can see, this is this is quite slow. Um, this one is bigger, <laughs> you know, obviously. Um, this has 20 pearl oysters in it. Uh, so you get quite a few more pearls. As you can see. And yeah, this is this is the same basic setup as that over there, except instead of a bunch of chests, it I'm just using uh, regular item ducts. Um, this guy is set to round robin and to extract. Uh, this is just a creative strong box. It keeps its inventory, so you can constantly pull from it. And it's set to round robin, so it feeds all of the hoppers uh fairly evenly so yeah um and then there's hoppers below that point toward the middle and then there's hoppers there that point down toward the end um if you wanted to you could have those two like butted up next to each other and just have all the hoppers underneath them pointing one direction and then like all the pearls will go that way into chests or me or you know some your whatever storage you choose yeah. And the, like over here you don't need the hoppers in here. Like you don't need these top hoppers. You could have well actually yeah, I guess you do. well, you could put the item ducks aiming into the the oysters themselves, but I just, you know, I put the hoppers. <laughs> uh you can also automate with the applied energistics mod as you can see here. Uh I have export buses on the back, putting sand into the oysters, and then I have import buses on the front, pulling the pearls out, and then you get pearls. Um, there's supposed to be a way that you can tell it that you only want a specific color of pearl. Um, so I have this guy, I have a black pearl brick, and supposedly you put that color that you want under the pearl, oyster and you're supposed to get only that color. Uh, I haven't really noticed, like I do have two black pearls in here. I'm not sure if it's from these because these have a chance to make like any any color of pearl. So yeah. <laughs> uh, but each setup is rather simple. Uh, this was a setup I was trying but it doesn't look like it's working. Uh, this one's been here just about as long as the rest of these. And it has yet to produce anything. I think it's a problem with the item duct trying to pull from there and down. So you could put like uh, import bus on here, and because I was I was trying to test if you actually only get black pearls or whatever. Uh, that part I'm not too not too sure about. So yeah, uh, like I say, it's just like there's a few simple rules you have to follow. There has to be water above the pearl. And there has to be some sort of solid type base for the pearl, or for the oyster. Uh, like, 
that's obviously a solid block, so it'll go there. Um, like, it'll go on hoppers, but it will not go on, it will, you can't place it on top of, like, import buses or item ducts or, you know, stuff like that. Um, I'm not sure why it places on hoppers, maybe for the sole purpose of automation. I'm not, not completely sure about that. Uh, but like I say, all you really need is the water source, or, you know, water above, and some sort of block below, and you get yourself some pearls. Uh, for building, or, you know, actually doing stuff with the Mariculture Bod, the jewelry, and all of that stuff. So, yeah. Uh, it's very simple. <laughs> very, very simple. Um, hopefully this helps you out, and hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all next time.